But even with the line chops, we had a problem with line chops. Can't sell them up because obviously they sell them on special. Yeah. So we boned them out, made lionettes out of them. So you've got two lionettes raw, just like the back ones there, marinated. And we sell, we sell more lionettes than line chops now. They don't sell them. No one else does in town, so that's a difference. So you sort of change that perception up. Hello, I'm Luke from Main Cross Butchery. Uh, just here to show you our new Bay Marie and all the different products that we've got from Viking Food Service in our shop fit out in our new location in Shepparton. Um, we've decided to break away from the traditional butcher shop and go with more of a gourmet ready to go meal concept and concentrate on value added and hopefully a high margin products. And we virtually just um, chuck the piece of roast with the veggies around it. So that's what we try and do in the after late in the afternoon ready for dinner is you'll get a lamb, a beef and a pork, whatever it may be. Surround it with your roast veggies already cooked. Yep. It's just got a tag in it priced up saying your take home roast meal and thirty dollars or whatever it costs. And they buy this wrapping full, they'll take it home. Yep. So yeah that's what they do. Tell us about the, um, the kitchen side of things. Um, I think it's like, I think Luke started off as like problem solving, so from their side of things, but now, like, it's more than that now, like the salads and stuff that we sell and um, dinner trade through the, for, at night time, it's just, yeah, more than probably we expected it to be. It's good. We're more than a butcher shop, we're a meal destination, we can cover, and our, our big thing is we only sell what we make. So the bacon that goes around our mignons, the bacon that goes into our products is the bacon that we cook. And nothing else is done on site. We don't want to outsource and buy bacon in uh, because there's no control over quality. The world's going for mass production and for everything, everything's made around a price. Whereas we're, we don't believe our price is ridiculous, but I think that the price is fair, but we've actually got control over the article thus then gives our staff and us confidence to sell it to the consumer. Yeah. And hopefully over time it'll show that we get a, a, a reasonable following. There you go, you have a lovely day. Thank you. And you're finding customers that are asking for more products and that sort of thing? Yeah, that's pretty much how we're evolving, is from people saying, oh, what about this? And yeah, so we put a different mix of that in. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. With the Bane, purpose built obviously, but that's that's what we're looking at doing is to push push the products. I can see for us, we, we, we're really concentrating on those areas. We're not concentrating on the fresh sections and that's because we're in front of a multinational who uses the meat, raw plain meat and raw chicken as have lost leaders. So there's just, there's no, for me, I don't think there's any point wasting our effort and time or, or display space. I'm putting a product in there with no GFA attached. Yeah. So for dinner you probably get more, I'll go for two salads to go with the barbecue or to go with whatever. People want to see fresh, as we spoke about with the salads. They yeah. don't want it packaged to a point where they think it's it's just a process from a factory. Yeah. And that's that's only what I can say from our demographic here. It's easy to pick up something when you're in a hurry to in a hurry to get something for tea or lunch. So, like in the winter time, we have a lot of casseroles because people don't have time to um, stand in the kitchen and watch over a hot pot of casserole all day. So that's why I think we sold them very well because yeah, we had them already done. You can take them home and just eat them. Yeah. Um, but then, then change the season, the salads and stuff still taken off. But then, on the same respect, people still want the hot food because they don't want to eat in the kitchen after night. Yeah. It's already too hot. So yeah, yeah it's pretty good. For, for us. Breaking so many bodies of wheat, a beef a week, and cutting up so many lambs, and then sitting back and hoping that we can sell those enough volume to be able to create enough profit. When wages have gone up, work cover's gone up, power's gone up. Um, I just think we've got to isolate our man hours into the highest profit margin we possibly can. And all the tradesmen, being electricians and plumbers and and all that, and builders are doing exactly the same. They don't waste their time on going around doing small jobs anymore and butchers have to start doing that because 
there's not enough around for a start, so butchers are going to become probably more expensive because good butchers can probably name their price a little bit. Um, and I just think we've got to use use their, their, their knife skills and specialty skills in value adding and, and portioning and, and making those those value added products yeah. with a higher GP so that it, we've got some sort of future.